Hi, Ben here from Trying to Fly Fishing. And today I've got with me the brand new Sage R8 Core. This is Sage's X replacement, and it's gonna be their flagship all water rod. And I can tell you, as long as I've been in this business, this is the most complete series Sage has put out so far. And we're gonna review it right now. The R8 replaces the Sage X as the flagship rod in Sage's model lineup. And this is a big deal in the fly fishing world. The X has been around for five or six years and it's been a huge seller and tremendous success. But this new R8 core is a very different rod. Sage has taken cues from other manufacturers and they've really changed how they're designing rods and this rod is totally different from the X, totally different from the one. And they say that it really flexes deeper into the blank. So this new R8 core is designed with Sage's latest and greatest technology, R8 Graphite. And hopefully they didn't steal that from Audi, but what it's designed to do is have much more feel down in the grip section. And that really translates to a rod that's gonna give you more accuracy and frankly, be a little bit softer feeling than previous generations. And we're gonna show you exactly how it casts in a bit, but first we're gonna start out by showing you the features on this new R8. Starting from the bottom, like we always do, you've got a single uplocking reel seat on this nine foot five weight, it's got a nice five on that reel seat. So if you got lots and lots of rods, you can quickly identify it. The insert here is a Zircote wood, which I'm not really sure what that is, but it's supposed to be a sustainable hardwood. Looks pretty cool. Honestly, I don't know if I could tell the difference between previous woods, but it's pretty neat. And of course, Sage has used their fantastic snub nose half wells grip here and I've always said that Sage does a fantastic job on grips and the R8 core is no exception. Top of the line cork feels really great in your hand. Then that moves on to what they're calling a silver pine blank. I'd say it's pretty much a dark green with maybe a hint towards silver. It's a handsome rod for sure. And they've done a nice job adding these trim wraps. It just looks pretty good. Moving on up the blank, Sage has really not changed a lot, which means they're not giving us alignment dots. And you're gonna see the same standard Fuji stripping and snake guides that have been on the rods for the last 20 years. But the story is not in the componentry here, which is good, but nothing revolutionary. The story in this R8 is how it casts. So let's get out in the field and check it out. When I started casting this rod in the field, I had our standard test MPX line out there. And I can tell you that this new R8, like quite a few of the other five weights we're seeing these days, does not do as well with heavier line as it does with a more standard weight line. So on this rod, you're definitely gonna wanna put something like Rio Gold on it. And we didn't have a standard weight Rio Gold, but we did have a, an elite Rio Gold, which is Rio's low stretch core and just feels a little bit heavier when you're casting. And that seemed to be a really nice matchup for this nine foot five weight. So when you think about that right off the bat, that's a huge departure for Sage. The Sage One, the Sage X, the Igniter, all of these rods cast much better with overweighted, heavier feeling lines. This rod is totally different. Now at 30 feet, again, with that Rio Elite Gold, you get great accuracy. I don't know that it's necessarily got medium action accuracy at the short distances, but it's definitely more than adequate. And the nice thing is that when you pair it with one of these less heavy lines, you're gonna get a nicer presentation. And benefit, it's gonna lower the swing weight as you're casting the rod. Just think you're gonna have fewer grains out of the rod tip where it matters the most. So it's gonna feel a lot lighter with a Rio Gold than it would with say an MPX. 45 feet, accuracy is really good. You know, I would say it wasn't like the absolute standout performer 
in the accuracy department, but it's still really, really, really good. And again, I really enjoyed casting a standard weight line on a high performance, fast action, or perhaps medium fast action, nine foot five weight. This is an all around rod that does everything you want it to do, but it does it with less grains than we're used to. Bump it up to 60 feet, no problem at all casting that Rio Gold. It's just a great performing all around trout rod. And comparing it to the X where I had my reservations at some of the distance on the 9.5 felt a little strange. This one feels great across the board. It's just a really massive improvement. It's way lighter. It does have somewhat more feel though I would say I'd have to cast them side by side to really get that difference but a very impressive release across all of our trout distances from Sage on this R8. If you're enjoying this review, don't forget that all of our reviews are supported by your purchases at tridentflyfishing.com. So if you're gonna get an R8, we've got every model of the R8 in stock right now, and you can get yours with free second day air shipping today. So after casting this rod, you can tell I'm really excited about it. Not only do we have the chance to cast this nine foot five weight here today, but we're gonna be releasing on our blog a full model by model review where we've cast about 80% of the models that are gonna be available in the R8. And as a quick preview, the shorter eight and a half foot, four and five weights are really spectacular rods. And overall as a series, I think this is one of the best releases to date. In fact, some of these softer, shorter rods really make you wonder why Sage is keeping the Trout LL in the lineup at all. This rod blows it out of the water. Now it's time to give the new R8 our Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, the R8 is really accurate and it earns a nine out of 10. It's just great across all of the trout distances. Up next is components. And as we've stated, Sage hasn't really changed those and it earns a seven out of 10. It's just not quite up to par with rods like the Scott Centric. They're pushing that limit in terms of components. In terms of distance and power, the R8 is definitely bordering on a medium fast rod. And because of that, it only earns an eight and a half out of 10. With that said, you can still get a lot of line out there and it's got a lot of reserve power in that backbone, but it's not gonna compete with some of the really fast action rods that allow you to put a heavy shooting taper on there. In terms of grip, I really love this Sage grip and it earns a 10 out of 10. It's just fantastic. Up next is looks and workmanship and Sage builds a great rod. I love the new trim wraps and the color is pretty cool and it earns a nine out of 10. Up next is swing weight and the nine foot five weight R8 comes in at 62 gram meters squared, which is pretty light. But as we've said in the past with some of these Sage rods, it doesn't necessarily tell the full story. The center of mass on the R8 is actually about an inch closer to the handle than the Sage Sonic. So that really makes it feel a lot lighter. With that said, a swing weight of 62 puts it well behind some of the competition like the Douglas Sky G, which is well into the 50s. All in all, it's a light rod. It's a big improvement over the X in terms of swing weight, but not quite the best and it earns a nine out of 10. In terms of value, the R8 comes in at $1,050 and it is a really expensive rod. Combine that with the fact that Sage really hasn't updated the components much and it's hard to give this a great value score. That said, it doesn't do so badly because it is the newest flagship rod from Sage and with today's inflation, you kind of expected this $1,000 price point to be broken. All in all, I give it a seven out of 10 for value. And last but not least is the cool factor. And this is the coolest, hottest rod in 2022 we've seen to date. And it earns a 10 out of 10 on the cool factor. And that leaves us with a total Poseidon score of 69.5, which might be the highest Poseidon score we've ever given a Sage rod. The new R8 core is a fantastic lineup and I'd highly recommend checking out our model by model review as there are some true sleepers in the lineup. Tell us what you think about this new rod by leaving a comment in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels. We've got a lot of rod reviews coming out. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.